today on Divorce Court. I'm here because DeAndre cheats, he lies, and he's immature. I am the one that's cheating, but Mecca has cheated on me before. The communication between DeAndre and I is kind of rocky. When Mecca get mad, she likes to disrespect me. I want the judge to tell DeAndre how to become a man, become more mature, and take responsibility for his actions. Mecca, I need you to open up more to me so we can gradually get our relationship back on track. I want this relationship to work because me and DeAndre have been together for like six years and I just don't want this time to go to waste. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am here with Mecca Johnson and DeAndre. Matthew, the two of you have been together for six years, engaged for four. You have one child together. You're here on a before your vows because you're not quite sure whether or not you should make it official. Therefore, you've come to me. You've given me uh, your compatibility test. I've read it. I was alarmed by it. Uh, Ms. Johnson, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you've come to see me today? Well, me and DeAndre have been together for six years, and he cheats, he lies, and he is very immature. He lies about everything. It was a time that he cheated. I was, I remember being nine months pregnant, mm -hmm. and a girl had reached out to me, and she was like, she asked about the relationship between me and DeAndre. And I stated the relationship between me and her, and that I was nine months pregnant. And she said that he told her that she he was a virgin. <laughs> and and did you now come on now? It's not, but he will literally tell a girl he's in the NFL. He will tell her he was a virgin. Like he will Aye. finesse his way into anybody. Like to talk. Mr. To Matthew, anyone. did you tell that lie? She is a liar. I never. Told that, that never happened. Never. So happened. you never said that. No. You never so told you, anybody you, you were in the NFL. No. <laughs> Why yeah, would I say did. that? Yeah, you no, did. No, 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 did. No, no. Yeah, you did. No, no, no. Can I explain? Yeah, please do. Okay. I never said I was in the NFL. I told the girl that I played semi-pro ball, so she okay. may have interpreted it as if I was no. in the NFL. Maybe. Did you play semi-pro ball? I did. No. Did you really? I, that was after I, the fact. This was like four years ago. He just played semi-pro like a year ago. Mm -hmm. So the time, no. He, but he was trying to play semi-pro. I mean, it wasn't like right out of, out of the blue. But he's saying semi-pro, but he told the girls he was in the NFL. Mm -hmm. He didn't say it like Georgia State. Like, he was like... <laughs> he he, he, he got like specific a, with, yes, his, with, with his yes, stories. He does. You say he has a dating phone on his app? Yes. A date, dating phone on his app. <laughs> a dating app on his phone? Yeah, he had a dating app on his phone. And I was like, I was going through his gallery, but it was, I wasn't like necessarily just going, you know, looking through his phone. Cause you know, me and him, you know, like the type of relationship that we had, like he would see my phone and I see his phone. So it's like, I, I wasn't lurking or going through anything. I was mm -hmm. looking through the pictures and I seen a screenshot of a profile picture that was unfamiliar to me. So when I asked him about it, you know, he brushed it off and he said it was nothing. But me, you know, this right. is like the third year of us being together. So it's, it's previously that he lied before. So I um, was doing like a little bit of research. <laughs> right, and, yeah. To just verify because mm -hmm. I never want to go to him without facts. I always have to, you know, facts. Yeah, yeah, have he backed lies up. so much mm -hmm. that I can't just say, hey, I've seen you texting this girl. I you got to have, have evidence. Screen. You got to have, have evidence. evidence. I got it. So... Now, Mr. 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 Matthew, you you admit to, to messing up a few times. Is that accurate? Yes, I do admit to it. But I... you say that she did an odd thing in response to that with respect to some letters she wrote. What did she do? Young, one day I came over to her house and I was going to get a room together for most things around, make a room look nice. So I go to changing the room and I go under the mattress, I see letters under there, and I'm like... Okay, let me check this out. So I'm reading it, and the guy's, he's in prison now. But I ain't really paying no mind to it, because we're here, and he's right. there. Right. So the letter said, I miss you, and, you know, I love you. It got little Which cute pictures okay. and everything. And then now, you know, she's telling me, uh, yeah, I don't really talk to him like that or whatever. And I'm instead of asking her, I'm like, why are you sitting here lying? And then she even told me that the dude would be a better father than I was. Oh, That's a lie. Mr. J Ms. That's Johnson, a lie. did you say that? Never. What I do never you do when that. pen palling dudes in prison? It's a thing. 
But lately, I've been a lot of women. You know, oh, I'm having trouble with my man. Let's let me write a guy in prison. I wasn't. What, is, just what is that about? This guy, it, me and him, we would never. It, we was never like on a sexual type of relationship. It was like because he's in prison. No, if me right. and him went to school together, me and him were friends. But you know, like it was a rumor around that he tried to kill himself. So I just reached out to him, you know, to let him know like life is more than what you know make it. So you can't just like just try to kill yourself like that. But I wasn't just did like, that turn into something other no, than support. No, it did. Our relationship, me and his relationship, I can't. I would never even look at him like that. Why so was why were the letters under the mattress? That's why I just put him in. I put like. I wasn't trying to hide him because he folds the bed. You know, I wasn't trying to hide anything. You know what I'm saying? I was never trying to That's hide him. That's an odd it. place to put some letters you're not trying to hide. That's all I, mean, I got to say. I wasn't trying to hide him. And the relationship, like, me and him never had a relationship together. Like, did he know about him? Yes, he knew about him. And he, I never introduced him, but I told him who he was and the relationship that I had with the, the guy. Mm -hmm. But me and him, me and the guy never had a physical relationship I gotcha, together. I got gotcha, you. I got you. I got you. But there's something a little off because you put him under the mattress. I'm, 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 no. I'm telling you right. No, 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 no. I've been up here too long. I know something a little <laughs> off because you put him under the mattress. I know that for a fact. When things get ugly with him, you go. This guy's always nice and squishy, and he, he's never a problem because he's he, he's not in a position to be a problem. He's just in a position to think of nice things to say to you, and that's and, and, and that's what he did. I'm gonna move off of there. My understanding is that her attitude is strong. So strong, in fact, it's become a significant problem in your relationship. So I want to talk to you about that next. I come back to the house. She tries to snatch the keys out of the car. So I'm like, Mecca, chill out. Like, calm down. So next thing you know, my clothes got bleach on them. My shoes is in the woods. Tell me about her attitude. Well, Give me a story. One day I'm sick as a dog, can't move, can't go to work, none of that. So I'm laying in the bed and I decide to go get some orange juice. And once I go get the orange juice, I'm drinking it. We have a daughter, like I mentioned, she wanted some of the orange juice. So I told my daughter, no, she felt like I had to give her some of that juice because she wanted it. And I'm telling her, I'm like, I'm sick. I get her this juice, she's going to be sick too. It's just going to get passed around the whole house. She has an attitude about the whole situation, so she goes to calling me these disrespectful foul names. So I'm a tourist, so I'm bullheaded. So, you know, okay, I'm going to leave so we don't get into it. So I go to the park for a second, you know, just to calm down a little bit. I go on social media. She's on social media calling me a bum, saying I don't do nothing for my child. She's just going all in. So. I can't touch you, I can't really say nothing to you, so I'm gonna get on social media as well. So I get on social media, I come back to the house, she tries to snatch the keys out of the car. So I'm like, Mecca, chill out, like, calm down. So next thing you know, my clothes got bleach on them, my shoes is in the woods, and I'm sitting there like, come on, how can you really do this? Miss Johnson, did that occur? Well, it did. And I do admit to me having a bad attitude, but it's just like my patience with him is like, I don't, I don't have any more with him. He just, he lies so much and he cheats. So it's not like I have an attitude because- Does it help? It does, to, for me. But I don't, I don't have an attitude Crazy. towards him because, you but, know, but like, Did you lose your mind because he wouldn't give no, the that, child no, some No, juice? no, that's what I'm saying. Like, anytime I have an attitude with him, it's bigger than that. Well, what was the argument about? About what? The big argument where he, he left the house and oh. you bleached his clothes. Well, I actually seen something in his phone. He always played victim. Anytime that he's caught doing anything, he tries to play the victim. So it's just like, well, you, well, you was doing this, so I'm doing that. And I just felt some type of way. So whenever he left, I just bleached the clothes. <laughs> but it was. You know how stupid that is? I always call it the stupid tax. You get angry mm -hmm. and you tear something up, you gotta replace it. Right. So that's just throwing money out the window. Wh whoever's making those clothes, making a fortune off crazy people <laughs> who tear up, tear up stuff because they're angry. And it doesn't get you anywhere. I mean, but he punches holes in the walls that he doesn't even... Well, you're both ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, that, it's not, you know, well, he's more ridiculous than me. You're both mm -hmm. ridiculous, but you do understand that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. 
And you're here on a before your vows. You, you're, you're asking me if it's wise for us to marry. <laughs> that, that's what you came here to do. Mm -hmm. So, in order to even consider that, I'm gonna give you a moment, pull yourselves together, and I want each of you to give me a 30-second sales job on why the other person is the person, above all others, you want to marry. I don't want to hear anything negative. I don't want to hear any buts. I don't want to hear anything bad. I want 30 seconds of unadulterated love. You with me? Mm -hmm. Yes. She has to be open to my opinions and basically let me be the king of the relationship and she be the queen. You can be the king, but if you're with other women, why would I just say, I'll follow you when you're doing the wrong thing? Is it ever worth it to pay the stupid tax? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. So, Ms. Johnson, you know what the job is, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna tell me why Mr. Matthew is the guy you want to spend the rest of your life with. Nothing negative. Go. I feel like he takes care of me and not, like, on a financial level, but, you know, if I ever need anything, he's there. Like, he will literally go to the end of the world to make sure I'm straight. Mm -hmm. He takes good care of me and his daughter. He just ma always makes sure that we're, we're good. Like, if he's not doing good, he'll always make sure that we're good at the end of the day. Like, food, you know... He's a good provider. He yeah. takes care of you. He's he a is. protector. Yes, he is. But he just has his... I'm sorry. <laughs> Couldn't help yourself, could you? I was about to be impressed, because I didn't think you could do it, be perfectly frank with you. I didn't think you would... You lasted longer than I thought, mm -hmm. which is saying something. And you said a very nice thing about him, that he's dependable, mm -hmm. he's a protector, and, he, and he's a provider. Mr. Matthew, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. Tell me why Ms. Johnson, above all other women, is the woman for you. Okay. Honestly, my, my honest opinion on why she is above everyone else is because if anyone knows me, I, I really came, like, from the bottom. I felt like I didn't have much family support. And when I met her, I could be selling grass or, you know, anything. And she's, like, she's there supporting me the whole way up. And it's, that's, like, that plays a big role. If y'all can't support each other, then y'all really don't have nothing. And I feel like that played a very important part on us. And then even when it came down to me not having a place to stay, she offered her home, and we were still in high school. And mm -hmm. She's been there ever since. And even when I didn't have a job, she helped me to get on that path to better myself. Even when there was times where I felt like I was down and I really just, I wanted to give up, she kept my head high, and she gave me that encouragement and motivation to want to do better with myself. Ooh. <laughs> Impressive. Well stated. Heartfelt. Valuable. Meaningful. Yes, Worthy. I like that. Thank and you. let me tell you what I didn't like. Hey, your compatibility test. You over there. <laughs> List five things that are wrong with you. You can only find three. Stubborn, mean, and attitude. Which all is the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, you, you just loud and you snap, crackle, and pop a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said about pretty much the same thing about him. He took the test more seriously than you did. He spent more time and, 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 and he was more thoughtful than you were. Mm -hmm. You showed up a little girl on this. And that concerns me. You said you wanted her to be submissive. What does that mean? Okay, let me elaborate on that. Please. When I say I want her to be submissive, I want her to be more so not so dependent. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong, you know, with her being dependent, but we are a partner, we together. When someone wants to be married, they want to become one. Right. So she has to be open to my opinions and Basically, let me be the king of the relationship and she be the queen. Let me be the provider uh -huh. and not so much all the time just thinking you're in this by yourself. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. I mean, yes, what he, yes, he makes me feel like I'm in it by myself. He doesn't, like, really help 
Do you inspire that in her by the way you conduct your life? I mean, king, you can be the king, but if you're running off a cliff, why would I follow you? And, and, and if you're with other women, why would I just say, ah, I'll follow you when you're doing the wrong thing? Because I believe everybody has room to make a change, only if, you, if you're ready to take that responsibility. Have you made change. that change? I have made a change, Your Honor. How long has that change been, been happening? Honestly, ever since I started working. And How I, long is that? I've been working for about three, four months now. And I, I definitely explained to her, I say, before we even started going through all these problems, I say, just bear with me. Once I get a job and get myself together, that's when things will start falling back into play. Okay. I accept that. Now, let me tell you what I think. What relationship information is okay to share on social media? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. I think you're, you're more of a kid than he is. Uh, you're conducting your relationship like you're in high school. You don't make thoughtful decisions. You make rash decisions. You go with how you feel in the moment. You tear up clothes. You, you, you put him out. You, you go on to Facebook and all that kind of stuff. And that's very childish and that's very immature. No matter who he is, no matter what he does, uh, you're responsible for how you respond to it. Mm -hmm. You cannot anger a man into your arms and you cannot track a man into being faithful. And you should be with a guy because you trust him and that you're comfortable with him. And until you are trusting, until you're comfortable with the one, don't have a baby with him, but that cat's already out of the bag, but don't have no more. You know what I mean? But you got to be able to trust him. You know, you've been cool for 90 days. I don't know with what job has to do with, with, with being able to be faithful. You say, you know, you've been cool since you had the job. I don't know if that means you just don't have time to cheat on her or <laughs> if you were cheating on her because you didn't feel like much of a man because you didn't have a job, so that's what you were doing to fill yourself up. But whatever there is there, there's a core of immaturity to it. I think you're trying to turn a corner, and I, and I applaud you for that. Uh, please don't get her pregnant anymore. <laughs> um, I would give you your marriage license, but I think it's too soon because you guys don't know how to have a conversation, you don't know how to have an argument, you don't know how to disagree and then get back into agreement. You need to go into marriage counseling right now. You're not ready to conduct a marriage because you don't have a married state of mind. But you need to collect a married state of mind and you need to collect some tools with which to conduct a marriage. We'll let this license expire and I'm gonna ask you to go to marriage counseling and do that for a year and take that seriously so you can give your relationship a chance and your kid a chance. Are you with me on that? Yes. yes. So what two important things do we walking away with here? Birth control, <laughs> marriage counseling. Mm -hmm. Say it with me. Birth, Birth control, control, marriage, marriage counseling. counseling. You're both equally responsible for both of those things and I want you to take that seriously. This matter is adjourned. Do you believe that this is gonna work? Do you want to marry this man? I mean, I do think it's gonna work, but it's just that he has to grow up, mm -hmm. take responsibility. Judge Lynn had a lot of advice. What's some of the things you're gonna walk away with? I'm definitely gonna get the marriage counseling and birth control is something that is gonna be in effect immediately, actually. 